My next guest tonight plays the sexy Borg, seven of nine on the hit show Star Trek Voyager. She's on the cover of this week's TV Guide. Set your phasers for stunning. It's Jerry Ryan. <laughs> Thank Thanks for doing the program. Well, thank you. And your your show is doing extremely well. Yeah, it's doing very well. And you are tell me about the internet and the website. Do, do you follow that stuff? Uh, yeah, I, I do kind of. Um, I, I've actually not been on the web in a while, but I tend to follow it. It's it's pretty amazing. You have quite a following. It would appear, yes, on the web. It's 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 kind of a strange thing that my first website actually came up six days after I was cast in the role. Like long before we had ever taped anything or before it would ever air. Somebody, some a buddy from high school, or is it just? No, a fan, I guess, from my previous show called Dark Skies. One of the twelve people who actually saw that show. I don't remember that show. What was what was that on? It was another science fiction show. It was on NBC very briefly. Oh, okay. Um, well, you're wearing a, a beautiful outfit tonight. Thank you. Here, here is uh, the cover of, of TV Guide. Now, uh, that's you as the character. Listen, now, let me ask you a question. Is it me, or do I look? Much more enormous than I do in real life. On this cover. Well, you know what? Um, it's funny you say that because um, I, I mean, the woman's wearing leather, and I look like three times her yeah, size. Yeah, I, I actually said that to some people, but you, you're, <laughs> you, you uh, no, no. The thing is, does it bother you that you're sharing the cover with Zena? No, not at all. No, does, she's a riot. She was a lot of fun. Uh, now, now, I know that she she has uh, gay fans. Yes. Okay, they're, they're a little more butch, I think. Um, do you have more of the lipstick lesbians that follow you? I mean, isn't that the way it works, or not? I haven't actually taken an official poll, but um, I couldn't answer you on that one. I really don't. So you don't know that kind of stuff. I, that... I don't know those kind of stuff. No, I'm not privy to those numbers. Uh, to their closely held secret at UPN. Right. The the uh, the character is 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 seven of nine. Seven of nine. Why why is the character called that? Well, actually, my full name is Seven of Nine Tertiary Adjunct of Unimatrix Zero One. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Because um, she's a Borg, and Borg don't have names like we have names. They have designations, which um, basically tell what their position is on the Borg ship and what their function is. Okay. So you know all this stuff. Isn't that frightening? Yes. <laughs> do you go? Do they still have Trekkie conventions? Oh yeah, yeah. They have. There's pretty much a convention every weekend somewhere in the country. Do you have to go? I don't have to go. I go to some of them because you know it's fun. It's fun to meet the fans. What are they? What are the? Are they just freaks? Or what are they, <laughs> I mean, what do they do? Do, do they? Do they try to uh, trip you up and test you on information or? Uh, there are a few. There are a few, and I mean, I have no illusions about that. Every Star Trek fan right. who has ever existed knows way more than I will ever know about Star Trek. And I mean every detail of Star Trek. So that, that I'm ready for when they ask for the really technical questions. But, but they're great. I mean, the Star Trek fans are very passionate and very loyal. Um, very unemployed. <laughs> now, now, do you, uh, you're dressed, uh, this is spandex, or what, what do you yes, wear? Sir. Okay, I think we have a, a shot of your old outfit, which you didn't like because you used to faint, it was too tight. Oh, yes. The illustrious board costume. Yeah, I wore that for the first two episodes. It was... Um, the one on the left? Yeah. Let's we'll see that again. And, and then this is the, the current one is one on the right. Well, one of the... I don't think you'd be downloaded much, the one on the left. That's, <laughs> that's not that it's exciting. It's the same effect. Right. It? Yeah, that one was, was rubber. I mean, it was like this thick and very tight, and it was fitted, obviously, on their skin. And mm. we didn't take into account the fact that I would have a half-inch thick latex prosthetic ball cap around my neck. So when it was... When the collar was zipped up with the makeup on, it was too tight and it kind of pressed on my carotid artery. And did, did you really? Was a problem. Did you faint or not? I didn't actually faint. I, I got faint. Um, mm -hmm. So it wasn't real pleasant. We actually called oxygen to the vet once. Uh, but now, but once they realized it was a problem. They changed it and you yeah. got the, the hot little rubber out there. <laughs> um, the, uh, I was thinking about these are basic questions, so don't yell at me, but are you a Vulcan or. Are you like are you the Spock of this uh, new Star Trek? Yeah, I guess in a sense I'm the Spock of this series, except that he was a Vulcan and I'm a Borg. Okay. Come on. You, is there pointy? Is, you, is there anything pointy on you or? I don't have the pointy thing. No, no, I'm I'm point free. 
Okay. I have a little metal eyebrow, basically. I saw that. That yeah. was kind of wild. Does that we actually are going to get one for you, I think. That was, I, I I was do, talking to your producer. I do need eyebrows. I don't have the full eyebrow. Uh, I'll tell you something that I, I found interesting about you. Can we just put Star Trek Voyager aside for a second? Because sure. I watched the old one with Shatner, mm -hmm. and then I haven't followed it as close as I should. But this is what jumps out at me. You're a fan of music in the 80s. I am. And I'm stuck in the 80s. <laughs> I still have, we're a perfect fit. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I still, I have a Spandau Ballet haircut, you know. I, still I, have, I noticed that, actually. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. What were the groups that you liked? I was really into Duran Duran. I was a big Simon Le Bon fan. Yeah. And Adam Ant. He was okay. Some of the girls in college liked him. He didn't do anything for me. But uh, what was your favorite Duran Duran song? Did you have one? Uh, Rio. Mm-hmm. What did you think of Girls on Film? Remember that one? I do remember that. That was a good one. That was, but that was like later Duran Duran. That wasn't the original, original, early, early. Song. See, you probably, I caught on later because I was, you know, I was... Kind of a loser, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, that's good. By the way, um, it, it's been a great interview. I really enjoyed having you here. Well, yeah, thank you, but I was kind of looking forward to you know, sitting in the window seat. I've only done it once before, but uh, you seem you're aboard. Let's, well, please. Let's, uh, excuse us for a moment. In recognition of your heroic actions in saving baby Angela from that burning building, allow me to present this to you, the key to our fair city.